It's one thing to have an idea. It's one thing to write a script. It's one thing to film a video. But it's another thing to edit those videos and post for people to see. Well, if you always film amazing videos or you have beautiful videos filmed already in your gallery but always run away from editing or confused on how to put them together, then this video is for you. You don't have to be worried about complicated editing softwares because there are beginner and user-friendly apps you can use both on your phone and laptop. So after this video, you will know the editing techniques you need to transform those raw footage into a polished masterpiece ready to be dished out. Even if you don't know how to edit, even if you're a complete beginner in this whole content creation and editing stuff. So you need editing to take off those mistakes, pauses and all the unnecessary things that happened while filming your video. You also need editing to be able to get a smooth transition and we are going to be using CapCut. There are a lot of them, right? There is InShot, there is VidMate and a lot of them. But I prefer CapCut. It's user friendly and has a lot of features. Although there is the free and paid version, but with the free version, you can do a lot. And if you have not watched my video on how to become a content creator, the necessary equipment needed to be worn and how to set up your camera and all that, I will leave the links in the description for you to go watch them. So let's go to CapCut and edit our raw content. So when you come to CapCut, the next thing you are going to do is to go to new projects and import videos. Any of this? So these places I'm trying to put myself together, sit properly, arrange myself you are going to cut it out so what you are going to do is to locate the exact place the video started from and let's locate the place click on it and can you see the split split it delete the ones you don't want first of all because it's for youtube i'm going to go to my aspect ratio and take it to youtube cc ratio 9 so that is the size for youtube and there are some parts I want to go out from this video. So I click on it, hold it and drag because where I want to take off is not that bad. I just hold on it and drag. But if you want to take off a specific part, just swipe till you get, till you get to transform. Then you transform, right? You can do this, you can do that. But I don't want that. I've already gotten what I wanted. I do this because there are a lot of cuts I'm going to do along the line. I don't want to be doing it one after the other. So once I do it to the whole video, I can move to the next. And after this, I go to adjust so that I can add some life to the video. Yeah, it's okay like this already, right? But I just wanted to add some life to it. I go to sharpen. Depending on the video, sometimes I take the sharpen to 100, while sometimes I just reduce it. So depending on the video, this particular video, I'm taking it to 100. The brilliance, I am taking brilliance to 10. Then saturation, I think is not bad. Okay, let me leave saturation in 5. Then brightness, I take brightness to 5. These are the four settings I do on adjust. So if there are many clips that you are adding, you just do apply to all. But this is just one, right? Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference? The difference is clear. That is what I do to my video. So it's more improved. So the next thing I do again is go and reduce background noise. The microphone I am using is not taking off everything because of my background. It's too much. So I just go and remove reduce noise it doesn't another take, code you need to crack to be able it doesn't take out that much but at least it will do something now it's time to do our cut and join the good one not the bad one so you have to be careful and follow me here let's go another code you need to crack to be easy you know how to do naturally right that is your passion and maybe your talent but there is this skill part what you know how to do, what you learned, what you know how to do. It might be <clears throat> so we are going to what you know how to 
make sure before you cut you get the right position so that it will not lag so that it will transition smoothly what you know what i done then i cut let's go to where it started from what you know how to do what you are knowledgeable delete and let's see how it transitions well there is this skill part what you know how so the thing did not transition smoothly let me take off a little bit where i close my mouth so that it will transition smoothly what you know how to do what you are knowledgeable about from about for skills so we are taking knowledgeable about okay then from about for skills that are fashion designers they are hairstylists for skills about for skills that are you see the whole concept about this splitting is to take out the mistakes and allow the last line to blend with the next line you understand right the only thing you have to do here is to make sure you cut it at the right place so that when it wants to transition to the next it will make more sense it's not a time to be in haste it's a time to put your craft together that is why a lot of people run away from editing but if you follow me perfectly you will see that it's fun yeah see everything as fun and you are going to get good results so i cut it off and there are those that know how to repair things that like there are those that know Things, right there are those that know how to refer to things so that is it for splitting taking out mistakes and allow it to blend then for you to make it smoother you can do transitioning to go to transitioning the line between the first video and the second video you just that this white line at the center just click on it and you will see different transitioning there are a lot of them you can experiment with different types but i've already had one in mind which is pull in because it goes just the way i want and makes the movements like don't keep the audience engaged right so i use pull in parts what you know how to do. so in this transition depending on the video you are doing you can do apply to all when you apply to all every of the video transition and we have that transition so you can do to just one or do apply all but because i don't want it to be moving too much i have to take off some parts like here parts. Now. what you know how to do what you are knowledgeable about for skills that are so i also want to take off here so that it will not be as if the whole thing is moving up and down about so for skill on. you see we are done with transition and can test a lot of them you saw what it did here right let me show you again this skill part what you know how to see do. it's made everything to be smoother than it was you can also do animation which i don't usually do it for my youtube video for every other video i do it i think i've done it on my youtube video once so you do animation depending on another, how you want it to start another depending on another, how you want it to start so let's use zoom in and another another thing you will always do while editing is adding test so you have to go to test and write crack the code let's just use this then i you can add go to stars you can go to background there are a lot of them just explore you can use um effects already right there are a lot of effects here to use a lot of them i'm not the color type i am the black type but let's just do this first you can reduce just hold on this part increase reduce that is how it's done then go to the position you want it to be and all that if you want it to be long you can make it longer if you want it to be short you can make it shorter you can just drag as you like then what you can do with this is um animation you can do animation you can do lots of animation. know your niche is your know your niche so let me get to where the code is crack to be able another code you need to crack to be able yeah. to so you see how it comes out right 
code you need to crack to be so if i also want the thing to be more engaging i can go to audio and move to sound fs and type i already have the ones i usually use so i like using this for it to at least be engaging another code you need to crack to be able yeah that is it if you want to there are a lot of them just experiment with it then what you have to do again what i do with my youtube video if i want to explain something i usually have the picture or the video clip there so for me to bring it out so that it's not be as if you are just hearing it from me you want to see what i'm talking about i go to overlay and add overlay there is video there is picture let's use this as picture you can use video you can use any of them right you can widen it you can make it smaller depending on the explanation you are making so you can just make it smaller depend on what i'm talking about right move it position is where you want to be and know your coming. niche is your skill yeah. if you also want it to be wider I, for youtube video i like my explanation videos to be wider so you see everything depending on what you are doing then you know your niche is your skills and knowledge yeah the, this so for that aspect ratio don't forget that there are a lot of them here this is for instagram this is for tiktok depending on the aspect ratio you want when i was explaining on how to film your video i made mention of portrait and landscape if you have not watched that video i will leave the link in the description for you to learn how to film yourself if your video is not supposed to be on tiktok you can make it tiktok all you have to do is to hold the video drag it to fit in and hear it another code you need to crack to be that is why i love cap cuts right if you want it to be instagram you can still do this instagram and code you need to crack to be able to it's know your sense right but i don't want any of these so i am going back to where i came from <laughs> another code you need to crack if you want to add caption you can go to your test and see auto captions check the ones that are free that you, you'll be able to use right so let's generate here we go so you can click on the caption and position it the exact place you want it to be you can reduce it that is it how depending on how you want it anywhere you want it to be so the size is another one. code you need to crack to be able to know your niche is then another thing i add is my music so you go to audio and um, go to sound there are a lot of them here on cap cuts i have copyright free sounds i use i downloaded them already so i go to my device and search for it i think it's five of kind yeah so here is the song and you don't want the sound to overshadow your voice another code so i go back and reduce the volume to from 10 below so let me do 10. another code you need to crack to be able to know your niche is your skill i love the the sweet background sound behind me or i don't know behind the scene yeah but make sure it's um a copyright free song so that your hard work will not be wasted another thing i do is look for where it you see is longer i make sh i make sure it's exactly where the video is ending and cut it off delete so that it's How just to inside the that is it if there is anything you see on my video and you feel i did not talk about it please tell me in the comment section and i am definitely going to talk about it we can now export and we are good to go that was simple and easy right so don't allow video editing to stop you from creating content because with these simple and easy techniques, you will be able to take your video from good to great, from raw to polished. You can tell me in the comment section the software or the apps you use to edit your video. And don't forget to like this video if it was helpful to you. Subscribe and turn on your notification for more actionable strategies and tips that will help you take your content creation to the next level. Thank you for watching today. See you in my next video. Bye.